Samuel Pierce and Terry Goddard III is an American attorney and politician. A member of the Democratic Party, he served as the mayor of Phoenix from 1984 to 1990, on the Central Arizona Water Conservation District from 2001 to 2003 and as the 24th Attorney General of Arizona from 2003 to 2011. He has twice been the Democratic nominee for Governor of Arizona, in 1990 and in 2010, losing on each occasion to the Republican incumbent, Fife Symington and Jan Brewer, respectively. After leaving office as Attorney General he led his own law firm, Goddard Law Office, PLC. He declined to run for governor for a third time in 2014 and was instead the Democratic nominee for Secretary of State of Arizona in the 2014 elections, losing to Republican State Senator Michelle Reagan. Early life, education and career, Goddard was born on January 28, 1947 and raised in Tucson, Arizona, the son of Julia E. Judy, and Samuel Pearson Goddard, J.R., who served as governor of Arizona from 1965 to 1967. Great-grandfather Rosie M. Hatch was Illinois Secretary of State 1857-1865. He attended Phillips Exeter Academy, a prep school in Exeter, New Hampshire. After graduating from Harvard College in 1969, he served an active duty tour in the U.S. Navy. Returning to Arizona, he received his law degree from Arizona State University in 1976. His time as a private attorney saw him working in the Arizona Attorney General's office, where he prosecuted white-collar crime. Goddard is married and has one son. Early political career, Goddard's first serious foray into electoral politics came in 1982, when he led the successful push for members of the Phoenix City Council to be elected from districts, instead of by a majority of all voters citywide. This allowed minorities from certain parts of Phoenix to be elected and represent their home areas and giving those areas a voice on the council. Your next election saw the election of the city's first Latino and African American to the council in over a decade. The measure is credited with significantly opening up Phoenix city government, and in 1983, Goddard was elected mayor. Within a decade, all of the members of the city council who had been elected at large, and who had been considered unbeatable under the previous system, were no longer serving on the council. Goddard was re elected four times serving through 1990, when he resigned to run for governor. In 1990, Goddard sought and won the Arizona Democratic Party's nomination for governor of Arizona, but was defeated in a runoff by Fife Symington, who, after winning a second term, resigned in 1997 amid charges of bank fraud. Goddard again sought the Democratic nomination for governor in 1994, losing the primary to Eddie Basher, Jr. Goddard served as Arizona State Director for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development from 1995 to 2002 and in 2000, he was elected to the Central Arizona Water Conservation District, which oversees the Central Arizona Project. In the nonpartisan election in which the top five candidates are elected, Goddard came first, with 403,568 votes. In 2002, Goddard decided to enter the race for Attorney General of Arizona to succeed fellow Democrat Janet Napolitano, who was running for governor. He was elected that year with a greater margin than Napolitano received for governor, receiving over 50% of the vote. He and a number of other candidates for office that year ran publicly financed campaigns under Arizona's Clean Elections program. Goddard was re-elected to the office of Attorney General in 2006 with 60% of the vote. After Napolitano resigned to become United States Secretary of Homeland Security in January 2009 and was succeeded by Secretary of State Jan Brewer, Goddard became first in line to succeed Brewer. Arizona Attorney General, 2003 Euro 2011, during his time as Attorney General, Goddard's stated focus has been on cybercrime consumer protection, predatory lending foreclosures, and deceptive advertising. He has also focused on reducing teen use of the drug methamphetamine, and worked with Utah Attorney General Mark Shirtliff to investigate and prosecute suspected polygamists and government abuse in the neighboring communities of Colorado City, Arizona and Hildale, Utah. 
This led to the capture of polygamist leader and self-proclaimed prophet Warren Jeffs. A hallmark accomplishment during his tenure was his historic settlement with Western Union over the issue of wire transfers involving smuggled human beings. He used this issue extensively in the 2010 general election. One of his last acts as Arizona's attorney general was to end negotiations with Bank of America over their foreclosure practices and sue them on behalf of injured Arizona consumers. This act was considered significant because Bank of America is currently still in negotiations with 48 other state attorneys general over the same issue. Nevada joined Arizona in the lawsuit. Attorney General Tom Horn has announced that he agrees with the lawsuit and will continue it. Equals 2003-2004 years equals, his first year as Attorney General saw him suing Second Chance Body Armor, Inc. over alleged defects in the bulletproof vests that Arizona police officers use. The lawsuit alleged a violation of the Arizona Consumer Fraud Act. There were several important court decisions during these years, including May v. Brewer, Arizona Libertarian Party v. Bayless, Movement in the Flores v. Arizona lawsuit regarding structured English immersion. Equals 2004-2005 years equals, Kest Communications' long-standing consumer fraud lawsuit over telephone slamming was finally settled in 2004 to the tune of $3.75 million in fines and $800,000 in consumer restitution. The years 2004 to 2005 also saw the start of Goddard's investigations into suspected polygamists and government abuse in the neighboring communities of Colorado City, Arizona. He signed an agreement with Utah Attorney General Mark Shurtleff to coordinate a joint investigation. There was also a string of 50 indictments involving a Yuma, Arizona drug ring involving the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, the FBI, U.S. Border Patrol, Yuma County Attorney's Office, Yuma County Sheriff's Office and Arizona's Child Protective Services. In 2005 Goddard also attended to the personal needs of his constituents by personally intervening in several issues where consumers were being neglected and taken advantage of by software etc. Controversies equals Captain Joel Fox equals, in April 2011, Maricopa County Sheriff's Deputy Joel Fox filed a civil lawsuit against Terry Goddard, Assistant Attorney General Todd Lawson and Goddard's former Criminal Division Chief Donald Conrad. Mr. Conrad has since joined the Criminal Division of U.S. Attorney Dennis Burke's office. Emails were seized as part of an ongoing investigation regarding alleged campaign finance violations by the Arizona Republican Party and the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Fox's lawsuit alleges that Goddard, Lawson and Conrad conspired against him to release the emails to publicly defame him. He has also named Cox Communications in the lawsuit for giving the office of the Arizona Attorney General the emails in the first place. He alleges that the second email account was not a part of the investigation and should not have been disclosed. The dispute is one of many controversies surrounding the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Goddard responded to the Arizona Republic and the lawsuit and with this quote, It does seem like a bizarre set of claims, Goddard said. It's a bizarre twist. He seems to be just making up a lot of extremely absurd conclusions. See also Arizona gubernatorial election, 2010, Arizona gubernatorial election, 2014. References External links, Official website Arizona Criminal Justice Commission, Annual Reports to the People by the Arizona Attorney General.